Okay, you all. Um, I don't have any makeup on. I don't have my hair done. I don't have a bra on. But trying to find words to put, um, to write down to ex express how I feel didn't work. I feel like there's so much more I need to say. Um, first off, this is something that I never dreamed of. Um, I never thought I was trash. I never thought that um, it was ugly, but I never felt like I had anything to offer. I'm so sorry. I never felt that I had anything to offer anyone, and that to me was all I ever wanted in my life. My grandma was the most amazing woman in my life. I ran to her almost daily because I felt that no one liked me, but everybody hated me, and I wasn't as good as anybody else. The one thing that she taught me was to treat others better than you treat yourself. And I have lived that way all my life. It makes me feel so good to see someone's life lives being affected in a positive way because of something I might have done. I've been up and down on my weight all my life, but uh, the majority of my life I've been overweight. I always put on a happy front. Um, I always put on a smile because I didn't want anybody to feel sorry for me. And I felt that if I smiled and if I was the nicest person to them ever, that they could look past my fat. Well, after a while, this whole positive attitude thing just got on and, and it made me feel good. So to find this company um, and, and this product that actually has been the vehicle to where I could put all my energy and my quirkiness and my passion for people has been a blessing from God and Judy and Wendy and Ben Glinsky. But um, I just thank God that Judy met Wendy six years ago in another company. It just shows that everything happens for a reason. And I believe that. Um, you know, I took some hard blows. The hardest thing was when my first husband, who was manic depressive, killed himself. And growing up a person who feels rejected constantly because of the teasing and the name calling, that was probably the biggest rejection that I have ever felt in my life. Even though I know he didn't do it to leave me, it just felt like I could have done something more. Like, I was at fault because I didn't give more. I just want to tell you all right now, give all you have that you feel comfortable giving. Open up to other people. Let them see that you're a real person. We're not a scam. We're not a gimmick. Lift other people up. The more you lift them up, the higher you're going to go. And it's proof. This is proof. I just want you all to know that my goal is not to make more money. I would gladly give up three quarters of the money that I make to the people that I feel that deserve this, that have the same goal that I do. Gladly. I don't need this money. Not that everybody needs to message me and ask me for loans because I have kids in college. Well, not mine, my nieces and nephews. And my goal is to see that their lives are as good as they can be. What I want to say, and I know this doesn't express what I'm feeling deep down either, but I just want to say that I'm here to make sure that if you have your heart in the right place and if you want this, and if you know that it's not going to happen this month, next month, maybe not even next year. I'm here. Judy's here. We want nothing more than to see you all succeed and to see your lives changed. I don't even go out in public without makeup on. Um, I don't put my hair up like this and, and expose myself to the world. But I am exposing myself right now to each of you because I feel that connection with each of you. Thank you so much 
for filling my life with joy. Dollars are nothing compared to the joy. And I just want to thank you. <sighs> Thanks. I love you.